Hi viewers, Alan here. Welcome back to the workshop. Uh, in this video, it should be a short one, I want to have a look at a little gadget that I made which I'm hoping will make it easier for me to um, lift heavy accessories on and off from the milling table. Um, as I'm not as strong as I used to be <laughs> and those things weigh 50 kilos or thereabouts and um, yeah I need all the help I can get with that sort of stuff. Okay so first up what is it? Well it's a bit of 25 millimeter square tube quite thick walled it's a two and a half mil thick wall tube and actually it was two pieces I've joined together you might be able to see the bit of a join a couple of bits of scrap when I was doing some practice welding when I first got the um, MIG welder. Anyway, that's by the by. So um, it's just uh, a, a tab welded on and um, one of these lifting eyes, I just cut the um, thread off, drilled and tapped it for eight millimeters so I could uh, easily mount it. It's uh, 500 from here to there and another 100 from the center to there. So it's clearly a lever and the idea is to have a five to one ratio. There's also an extra hole here, which is at 50 millimetres, which would be a 10 to 1 ratio here. I didn't make any video of making the thing, because it's trivially simple to see what it is, and just welding a tab on something and some holes. So let's go and have a look at what the idea is behind this, and see whether it's a good or a bad thing. So um, what I'm talking about here is being able to uh, lift things like this, which are 50 kilograms, and... Um, do it with uh, such control that it doesn't bang about on the on the table as it's going coming off or going down and i want to get it up and uh, up onto that storage platform so in the past i've used the um, old uh, block and tackle which is certainly capable of doing the job the only problem with it though well not the only problem the, well, the reason why i'm not satisfied with it this uh, operating chain dangles down and gets in the way and it's dreadfully slow. And if I was just lifting off the uh, table, I wouldn't mind, but I've got to go up eight feet and onto that storage platform. So what I want to do is um, use this um, um, powered hoist, which will um, raise and lower obviously with a lot less effort and much faster but the problem with it excuse all this handheld nonsense um, but the problem with it is the start and stop is very fierce as you can see there's no no lead in so when you go to lift something off the table if you don't get a clean lift it bangs it on the table and then when you go to put it down it's very hard to do it gently so to address that problem in the past, what I've tried to do is use this uh, smaller lever hoist. Um, so I'll use the, uh, this thing to get close and then use that thing to um, do the final uh, raise and lower. And that works. But it, again, it's just a little bit tedious. And when I was out walking the other day, doing my daily walk, it suddenly occurred to me that maybe there's an easier way. And that's um, where this... Uh, bar might come in. So let's get set up and I'll show you what I had in mind. Okay so the idea is simple enough. Do all this so I don't get in the way. The idea is to um, put that through there. So now, I haven't done anything yet to take the weight off the uh, thing, but now I've got to, um, got quite uh, good control, but I discovered fairly quickly that on this uh, ratio here of, uh, of five to one, that's quite a lot of effort to, uh, to operate. So I made up an extension uh, for the handle
which makes that a lot easier. So once I've got it off the milling table, there's no problem about adding the, um, this thing's caught my sleeve, there's no problem about letting the, the hoist do its uh, jerky start. And the way I've got the thing set up, you can see that once it's um, uh, clear of the table, you can move it around and etc. So that all seems to be alright. Um, but having the extra length of the handle wasn't what I originally envisaged. But anyway, putting it to, to, to get it back on the table. We've got to hold it up. All right, now I've got it, uh, let's come further this way. Now I can lower it down gently and without any banging. And uh, so it seems to work all right. I wasn't uh, keen on the idea of extending the handle because it gets a little bit unwieldy, uh, but I think you just need that extra leverage. Now the other thing I could do uh, was to move this uh, closer to, um, change the, the leverage ratio by moving this to that hole. But I found that um, when I did that um, I didn't have enough, uh, enough height of lift here. Uh, it works in another situation which I'll show you but it didn't work here because when this got started to lift up it's not on the perfect centre of balance, so this uh, back side hung down a bit, and uh, I didn't get, I didn't have enough uh, lift to to clear everything. But I'll show you where that does work. Yeah. Okay, so I've uh, come around to the other side of the milling machine and got it set up to uh, lift the milling vise. So that's being achieved with this uh, just bit of angle iron bracket that's clamped in the vise jaws. That's to give me a lift point which is about the centre of gravity of the vise. And even with this um, set at the, the longer, uh, further away from this pivot point, so less leverage, it is actually still quite easy to uh, lift that off because it's so much lighter. It's probably only tw barely 20 kilograms compared to the 50 of that one. So uh, it obviously works pretty well here as well. And you can see that um, because of the geometry of the thing once it's got the load the handle just it's up, pointing up out the way and um, it seems to work quite well. But uh, let's uh, just switch to the, the closer point and just see an issue which occurs when we do that. So let's get to this down again. So um, with it on this distance here I've got quite a bit of height so I don't have to bring it, I don't have to lower it down using the, uh, the hoist too close to the table which means it's very easy to um, lower it down uh, under control. So let's move this pivot point closer and we'll see that um, Twice to get a lot more leverage, it comes at a cost. I don't know whether you can hear that rain. I might have to stop my recording. Okay, the rain stopped, so let's get back to it. So I've got this set with the pivot point on the hole closer to the lift point. So it's 50 mil there and 500 here. So we've got our one to 10. So obviously it's quite easy for me to lift that. And uh, once lifted, it's easy to uh, take it to the stars. And you can see as well that the um, geometry still works. The lever um, isn't sticking up at quite such an angle but still works fine. 
When we go to lower it down though, we'll see. I have um, much less scope here for, for doing this lowering. So I have to use the hoist to get the, the load lower closer to the table and I don't have as much room to, uh, to play with. So it's a disadvantage, but it's enough it seems. Um, although when I did that with the, the rotary table, I found that because the rotary table didn't hang level with the milling table, bits were hanging down, that much lower um, lift height it just didn't work. But anyway, it works here. But I think since um, this one also works quite well off the other hole, I'll just leave it there and use the handle when I need it. So um, I'm optimistic the thing will be uh, some use. Well, time will tell. But uh, look forward to hearing some comments or seeing some comments. What do you guys think? Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Um, I mean, this is a virtually zero investment, it's just made out of scrap. So anyway, I'm interested to hear your opinion. So I'll end this video here and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.